and welcome. We are here today in this live stream with my friend and colleague, Sandra Walter, because this is a special episode where we are talking about embodiment and the crystalline DNA. Sandra is an Ascension way shower and a teacher, and she is here as a powerhouse, and she's here to change the world. Sandra, hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, blessings, Loren. It's always so much fun to unite with you and your tribe, and there's so much going on right now. It's so exciting. Okay, so let's start there. Welcome to this Equinox week. Whenever we are joined in this time, it feels very powerful. And there's a gateway opening up and new energies coming in. So let's start there, Sandra. Um, talk about the current energy that we're in. Yeah, Equinox. It's, you know, and the energies have shifted so strongly throughout 2018. And there's, you know, no stone unturned when it comes to this year energetically. And you can, you can feel like every gateway, every passage, they've all been blending and amplifying and consistently increasing this year in a very strong way. You know, even, even people who were just a little bit awake are getting a lot awake right now. And the, in the equinox energies in particular are bringing on this sense of closure and launching the new simultaneously. So they actually started with the ends of those eclipses that we had over the summer that were incredibly strong. And now we're getting the, the full force of what those eclipses were about, all that clearing work that we went through at the beginning of the year, all the changes in the collective trajectory that started at the end of May, all that stuff is starting to come to a head and everything's getting sorted out. So on like a multi-dimensional level, there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening simultaneously. So in the past, when we did gateway work or uh, had uh, equinoxes and solstices and stuff, of course, they're always important gateways, but you can feel, yes, the energies are swelling, but they don't step down any longer. They continue to build. So this is a really powerful time of our ascension process because you can feel that there's no roller coaster anymore. You know, we're consistently really moving in as a collective into unity consciousness. It's really beautiful. Well, it's very interesting because many are still feeling pushed. I want to analyze what you just said there and and then put it into perspective for all of the beings that are watching and listening because it it feels like this past summer has been beautiful where you are um, closing out certain chapters and and we're done with certain things. And that's putting certain things in our face, right? Making us really aware like, wow, I'm really done with that one. And on the flip side of that, there is a lot of creativity coming in. This is in the form of inspiration or breakthroughs. Personally, I think there's a lot of breakthrough going on where maybe we felt a little sluggish. Mm -hmm. um, now this week feels different. Like maybe in the past, I'd say four weeks, it's felt like really creative, like really like, wow, that idea, like lots of downloads. And then now it's maybe even this week, it's like hold back off that, kind of let things incubate and nurture. Mm. So, it's interesting. Yeah, a little, little bit of a pause button, feel the energies, it's going to take you into the next level. And that's the thing when we talk about collective trajectories, you know, when, when we shift as, a, as an, an, an ascending collective, things get sorted out, our personal timelines and our collective timelines get sorted out so that everything starts to align with that higher thing. So we do get these um, intense clearings, like what was happening earlier in the year, and then we get these passages where there's just like so much creativity and I want to do this and I want to do that. And there's so much inspiration and, and new ideas. And, and, you know, me, myself, the last couple of months really have been like that consistently where it's like you just, you wake up first thing in the morning and you're just like, whoa, just going for excellence and creativity and new ideas and I'm creating new things and new services and everything's gotta be new, it's gotta be new, it's gotta be new. And even in the past, 
when we felt the, um, you know, we've been talking about the last couple of years that there's going to be this, this period, which we're experiencing right now, where you're going to start losing your identity, you're going to start losing the old self, and you're going to feel that die off of the old egoic structures and the old self. And for some people, the hang time between the old self and the new self um, it gets very uncomfortable, but there are ways that you can deal with it. You, you deal with it by stepping into this, this creativity. And there's a, a beautiful sense of non-attachment to outcome. It's like creative, creating for creativity's sake or try anything, but the, but the key to the kind of creative energies that are stepping forward because it is uh, i'll get into like how that ties into our dna activation but the kind of creative energy that's um that's coming forth through all of us is a side effect of unity consciousness so everything has to have an element of co-creation in order for it to manifest in order for it to come into the physical so if we're moving truly and purely into unity consciousness and all this stuff is getting turned on our in our dna and we're actually crossing these crystalline bridges to the new earth we don't go one at a time we go together so everything even even if it's your own personal service or your shifting services or whatever everything's going to have to have somebody else involved you know some kind of co-creation or it's going to have to serve unity consciousness in general in order for it to manifest so a lot of people that have been trying to create things or trying to create new services throughout the year there's been a lot of frustration you're like i used to be able to manifest things like that or whatever and it's like honey if you don't have an element of unity consciousness or or co-creative um energy in that endeavor it's just not gonna work there's just no support. You know, we can see like the support structure for separation collapsing. You know, that's what's happening. That's the, all this completion energy that we have right now is the old way of doing things and the old way of perceiving reality. The old reality itself is collapsing and it's going at a very fast rate right now. You know, I was I was guided to start a way shower class because I'm like, wow, we got to get everybody ready because at the end of the year, this is going to shift radically. And then the way showers, you know, the way showers, you don't wait. You know, we, there's no waiting game when it comes to the way showers. You're like, I see this thing coming. Let's let's get ready so that we can we can lead others. We can guide others. So it's and all of a sudden there was all that energy there for it. And it's happening, you know, so it's like the first project that I've, I've worked on this year where it's just like, wow, there's so much ease and I'm doing it and I'm excited about it and everything. And even in weeks like this where equinox energies are like, oh my gosh, you know, there's because there's the gatekeeper part of you that's like feeling it and becoming the generator of that energy and wants to pay attention to the sun, wants to pay attention to the planet and everything. There is a beautiful thing that's happening right now where our multidimensional self actually ascending into the multidimensional self, which means all of your different aspects are coming into play and unifying. Um, you feel it and you feel like this kind of, uh, it's almost like a delegation center for um, you know this aspect can come in and take care of this, this aspect can come in and take care of that. You know, it's, it's beautiful how it's unfolding. And you're aware of like all of this stuff happening at the same time. And yet there's this other unique experience that I want to get into, but I feel like you have a question right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I guess I'm still one. I know we're all ascending at our own special rate. And, you know, when you're saying like this, these aspects of us that come in, I'm still dealing with the wounded teenager or the rebel teenager at times right and so it's interesting because it's like we want to be past that I do we want to we all want to be past that so you know it's a time of um, I call this the explosive summer because um, mm -hmm. if those aspects of us are still there they are getting really loud <laughs> yeah so just, I'm still there amazing. myself, but on the, on the flip side, yes, there is newness coming in, you know, and I, I it can't happen fast enough. So it's just yeah. interesting. Yeah. And I found like the stuff that gets 
loud that wants to be done, you know, like your, your higher levels want that to be complete. They're like, that is not going to, um, you know, you can't get through the filter with that thing, you know, still in your field kind of thing. Mm. Uh, I found that the, the, the best way is just like facing any fear is just like, all right, this today, this now moment, I'm going to run directly into that issue. And you bring all of your trust and all of your fears and all of your doubts and everything. And you run right into it. You know, it's just like enough, enough of this waiting, enough of the delaying or whatever. What is it that scares me or scares that aspect of self the most? And you challenge it, you know, and most of the time done, you know, it's just like, oh, okay. Uh, That's all I had to do was just like challenge that aspect of self because it's all, you know, those are just our own creations, you know, when you're like, well, that's something I would like to um, not create any longer, or it just does not serve any longer. And that's, you know, it's a normal part of the ascension process. But the, but the cool thing that's happening right now is the more of us that anchor in the higher and higher aspects of self. And again, it's not up there, out there, it's all happening simultaneously in the same space you know it's just uh it's it's your you're the the center of your own universe so when you become aware of like the the bigger and it doesn't mean grandiose it means pure source starting to come into a a lot of people's awareness you know the experience of absolutely no separation and in a different way, I just I just want to be clear. So, in in meditations or experiences, a lot of the time we got glimpses of the Godhead or that experience of feeling like you're you're everything all at once at the same time, you know, simultaneously. There's a different there's a different thing happening this year, where we're getting that taste of mastery, where you start experiencing. Uh, the infinite creator as you in a way where your thoughts and sources thoughts, your experience and sources experience um, absolutely merge. Like there's no, there's no wall there. There's no separation. There's no this and that, you know, and the, and they get longer and more powerful, you know, to be a glimpse and then it's a minute and then it's a day and then, all of a sudden it's it's clicking in and this is this is a really powerful thing that's going on because it demonstrates that the crystalline dna that crystalline bridge to the new earth that we've all been talking about is dna so dna creates experiences in form so this this crystalline dna is the the divine human dna is that stargate is that bridge is that um way of experiencing everything all that we are and creator all at the same time does that make sense i hope i'm explaining this properly because what what happened over the summer i'll just explain my personal experience Mm -hmm. so over the summer after the um the second eclipse and that little eclipse sandwich that we had, I should say the big eclipse sandwich that we had, it was yeah. very strong. And it, that's why I say it was explosive because yeah. people remember that. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was very powerful. And for here, you know, Shasta was surrounded by wildfires all summer long. Like it still has not ended. You know, we've just been burning, burning. There's all this clearing going on, entire towns going up in smoke around us and everything. And we've had just, you know, most of the summer was just brown skies, couldn't see the sun, no light, just couldn't go outside without a face mask. It was intense, you know, we're just like, oh my gosh, you know, and it um, kept a lot of people away from the mountain. I was like, at one point, higher self was like, this is a smoke screen. Like, I was like, what's going on, (laughs) you know, kind of thing. So there was all this shifting and removal of a lot of stuff. I mean, it was just, I mean, a lot of people were calling it like a big smudge of of the entire West Coast, but it, um, and and the areas that burn do feel extremely clear right now. So it's just like, 
like anywhere, you know, forest fire, I don't see them as like, oh my God, the poor trees, the poor animals. I'm like, it's a clearing and it feels great. And they, it's a natural thing. Um, however, in the middle of that uh, was, were these eclipses and that second eclipse um, stimulated a vision and the vision was seeing the the actual crystalline rainbow DNA. So it was like two, if you can imagine, two gold strands, just threads, not DNA with the ladders or whatever, just two gold threads coming up and crossing over like this, like a DNA strand would. And in the middle of that, in that little kind of Vesica Pisces kind of thing that's that's there, were the were the codons, you know, the bars, and they were all rainbow crystalline colored but they were shining in a way that made them look um, almost fuzzy. And this is, you know, one of those visions where it's just boom, right there. And it was like, right after I had this big activation with the masters and it was just like, we're going to show you this kind of thing. And, uh, and as I'm gazing at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's the rainbow feathered serpent, you know, that's, what they were talking if you were a shaman back in the day and you saw a vision like that it looks like a rainbow colored feathered serpent i was just like oh okay that's what that is so this this crystalline bridge this crystalline rainbow dna um presents and then i start getting like this crazy dmt type activation so my visions are just going bananas i don't know if you've ever had that experience i've never taken substances but it looks like the psych psychedelic art you know people who interpret those visions um so it was extremely stimulating but this download came and it was talking about how that crystalline dna contains stargate codes and then your heart center is becoming this um much more a uh, magnetic solar generator. It changes your energy fields. It changes your DNA. This pure divine DNA is coming into play now. And it's, that's the thing, like that is embodiment. You know, if you're able to bilocate, download, activate that crystal and rainbow DNA, which is the bridge to the new earth, it's a bridge to a different reality, you know, a higher plane of existence. And uh, I should say, several different realities because it gives you a view of all your different aspects and different, I mean, different star systems and planets and all that kind of stuff comes into play. And then you realize, okay, uh, we've understood that all of this is happening simultaneously. But when you feel that embodiment, that's when I got the source activation. And it was like literally just sitting in bed one night and just Kind of meditating and calming down for for my nighttime dream state and all of a sudden it just got turned on and it was just source it, it was just source not not source peering through me you know not that kind of a sensation but it was just you you were that you know that that was it and it's been consistent so this is and, and this is part of embodiment that we're, we're all going to have to deal with it you know because as a few of us and, and a lot of my other brothers and sisters were writing going, oh my gosh, it's happening, it's happening. You know, this pure embodiment is ha happening. This activation is happening. That pure solar cosmic Christ consciousness, that crystalline diamond solar, however you want to describe it, consciousness is starting to have a domino effect and you could feel it because all of a sudden people started popping off with their activations, their writing, they're like, oh my gosh, it's not going away. You know, it wasn't like a, a one day or one evening or like, oh, now I got to wait for the next activation. It's consistent now. So we can feel like the unified field of humanity, you know, human heart grid is actually um, now distributing those codes. And, and we started uh, distributing during the unity meditations on Sunday. And there's, there's just this, this very, um, deep comprehension of that that krishna or that crystalline state of consciousness and it's it, the the other thing it, it was just unlocking all these different gateways within your own heart within the planet within the grid systems everything was just unifying so it was like great central sun all of a sudden is right here you know source all of a sudden is right here everything was within and without and unified and 
divine and perfect and it wasn't going away for the first time. It wasn't like something that you had to consistently try to do. It's just there. And that's, that's exciting to me because it shows that embodiment is on. It shows that everybody who's getting all the closure stuff of like, I got to change everything. The old stuff is dying off and everything. It means we've created the bridge. We are that crystalline bridge and we've created it and it is DNA. DNA creates our realities, our different um, expressions come through DNA and it doesn't matter if it's DNA in this realm or the next realm. It's all DNA. So when you, when you see a crystalline bridge DNA, it's like we got there, we are crossing the crystalline bridge to the new earth as we speak. <laughs> it's exciting. Yes, it's very promising, uh, you know, because I word on the street, some are getting a little, you know, we're, we're going to get it over it, but some get a little depressed, right? Because we're not there yet. But this is so promising, Sandra. Uh, it really is. So I'm wondering if you could lead us into um, a phase or a process where we can play around with the rainbow DNA, maybe see if we could download or activate this. Yeah, the strongest, yeah, the strongest time to do that is, is obviously during the Sunday unity meditations. You've got thousands of people all focused yeah. on that right now, not just peace, but a combined effort to share information, to share the codes and everything. So that's going to be really strong. But just in this moment, th this is the thing. In the past, we did so much work of like, oh, I've got, I've got to, you know, unify with my higher self and reach and try and bring this into, into me and everything. The, the basic thing would be stop separating yourself. You know, if you're somebody who's still working with like seven chakras or whatever, stop the separation. That was connected to karma. Karma is that we're done we're, we're so done and realize too that even though these layers of reality, it's like, well, if it was done, how come I still see it? Well, it's a collective co-creation. So a lot of people are still creating the old stuff and will continue to do so. However, when you start getting access to the higher states of consciousness, divine love, all the mastery skills, where your forgiveness and your gratitude and everything are on autopilot, it just is. It just is your beingness okay all you have to do is allow that to happen so literally just in this now moment just you know put your hands on your heart center that is your divine stargate to all that is that is your crystalline bridge to the new earth and just take a breath it's your natural state of beingness that's the thing we're all these giant beings these giant diamond, crystalline, almost pearlescent, shining strands of DNA, <laughs> transversing dimensions and creating all of these beautiful realities. But as you kind of just breathe into that, it's not something that has to be created. It's already there. It's not something that you have to work at you're already that that's the thing it's our natural state of beingness so if you just relax into it and for those of you who don't meditate please meditate every once in a while because that is going to get you into that place of just receiving what already exists to let go of all the drama let's just release release all the drama all the past, all the future concerns, all the waiting game, when's it gonna happen? It is now. Even the concern, when's it gonna happen to me? I want that. Okay, let it happen. Let it happen, it's already here. It's already being anchored. That experience is already anchored into the collective consciousness. Breathe into it, visualize yourself as that pure diamond light and if you haven't done so already, open up your ascension column that unifies all of the toroidal fields, all the Taurus fields for all of your expressions, all the way out to source and back again, right through the heart. And just open up 
Don't give yourself a location. Because it's all happening within you and around you at the same time. And rather than thinking of source as something that you need to appease or you need to strive for, realize that you as a fractal of source, I know that's a catchphrase, but you as a fractal of source, you already are that and you've chosen to express in a divine human DNA, through a divine human DNA, beloved star seeds and way showers and light workers and everyone tuning in. This is why you chose the divine human DNA because you have that capability to experience source, no matter what the density, across the worlds and you become that crystalline bridge, that rainbow bridge to the new earth. And end the separation. End the separation where you truly look at one another, that true vibration of namaste, all days and all ways, just consistent. Let go of the work. The only work involved is demonstrating the love that you found within to other people and making it easier. We're just making it easier. We're like snow plows, getting the snow out of the way so everybody can drive through the gate. And this is something that you can do anytime, anytime. You just feel into what you already are and you merge with that consistent flow between worlds, understanding that you are that bridge, your DNA is that bridge, your ascension column is that bridge, your toroidal fields are all absolutely divine. And everything else is just the illusion. All the fears and the doubts and the worries and I have to do that and I have to do this and survival and everything, it's all just a co-creation and we can uncreate it as easily as we created it and a lot quicker. Let all the worry go away. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop letting the fears and the doubts be bigger than the love. It's not true. And if you haven't experienced it yet, consistently call forth your divine DNA. It's yours. Take it back in its full purified form. The reason why the way showers and the gatekeepers are a little bit ahead of the experience is because we consistently do that. Consistently. No matter what's going on, you stop and you reset your intention and you reset your experience to be in line with what you are becoming not what you were. <sighs> and the moment you stop the separation between yourself and the people who are having that experience and realizing it, we are the same thing, you'll start having that experience as a palpable reality for yourself as well. At this point, it's allowing it. It's already here. It's like your heart becomes a diamond solar generator. I mean, we've always heard that we were going to become sons of God, the paradise sons of God. It's what we are, you know, that's what we're, it's not even what we're becoming, it's what we always have been. We just had a lot of veils in the way. And all those veils at this point are self-imposed. We have to remember <laughs> that too. Self-imposed veils, a couple of collective veils, and we're done. <laughs> And we're done. That's why everyone's getting the completion thing. They're like, well, I feel like I'm done. Am I done with my light work? Am I done with my way shore? Like everything's just kind of closing down. That means the new thing is now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Unified. 
reality, a unified reality of unity consciousness. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And it's, it's difficult to explain too. I think that's why gurus and the leaders in the past always went to poetry, you know, because it was just, it's so difficult to describe. How do you describe the infinite creator consciousness stepping right through your heart, you know, and, or the experience of, of being one with source again? after a long quote unquote linear experience of separation, you have to stop believing that too. Like, oh, it's been so long. It's like, what? You know, like but my guides are always like, no, it's like you never left. Oh, you're infinite, you know? And all the stuff, the other thing about watching things collapse or burn or get hit by hurricanes or whatever, please keep in heart and in mind, um, that this is all infinite and immortal, you know, enough, uh, you know, Gaia told us, when did that quote come in? 2011, she's like, don't cry over my casket. It's a birth, not a funeral. You know, she's like, don't, it just because part of me, because it was a reflection of what's gonna happen with us. You know, she was like, this, this whole thing is happening to me, it's happening to you simultaneously. And we get into that simultaneous thing where it's like, Changes in the sun, changes in the planet, changes in ourself. Do you see what's going on here? All the cosmic stargates are unifying. There is a, a radical, sh the radical shift that happened in the cosmos that's creating these new universes and new realities for us to step into is, has finally hit the density and it's, it's changing, it's going away, you know? So it's like, don't weep over it, you know, it's enough. Let it go and focus on the next thing, you know, focus on the creativity, mm -hmm. focus on how you can assist, you know, that whole new earth now thing is real and assist the people who are really stuck in the whole waiting game. When's it going to happen? It's like, honey, you're, you've missed half of it already. It happened in 2012, you know, like this is, this is not a waiting game. A lot of people trying to convince people that there's a way to, that you have to wait for things to occur. But over and over again, you know, the guidance has been like, uh, that whole solar event is happening now. You know, your denser reality can't even really comprehend the hugeness of what's happening with our solar system and our galaxy and our universe right now. But yeah, you might want to feel into that a little bit, you know, the deep comprehension of you being all of this, all of this reflections bouncing off of each other and getting purified right now for a completely different experience. So it's great. Why would I create a class right now if we, you know, if everything was going to, you know, flip into a different reality tomorrow? next month or whatever like nobody would bother the way showers would just be like oh we just wait for the you know whatever solar flash that's not what it's about it has to be done together it's the only way it works unity consciousness that's the goal mm -hmm. yeah. yes thank you so much for that i mean just feeling the vibration from the words that you shared just make it so like real and and so effortless and again, very promising. So mm -hmm. let's talk about this. Let's talk about unity consciousness and creation. Because mm -hmm. this is where, I mean, I agree with you. We see systems um, coming down. And, you know, I'm amazed that we still find people um, on two sides of our presidency. Let's get over that already. Cause there's, you know, we can do stuff about it, but again, let's move forward. And I guess here's a promising sign. Um, you know, if, if we see, for example, the ocean protection, there's a lot of protection on the ocean that um, the current system wants to do away with. Well, on the good side is that people who are involved in those systems, as their heart opens up and they become aware, they're actually starting nonprofits to combat, or no, not combat, I don't want to use that word, starting nonprofits to uh, stand up for what they want to focus on and clean up. To do it anyway. That's the to thing. It anyway. It's just like, 
when you look to some kind of nonsensical leadership as like, well, that's what we just have to do. You're still a child, you know, that's a thing. Like we, you have to look at this old government structure and the politics and all of that stuff as a bad parent, very dysfunctional, right? And they attempted to create realities where it's like, oh, I'm gonna control and keep the kids down and dumb and stupid and poisoned and all, all that crap, right? And, and kind while there's been this other thing going on called Ascension, where people are like, wait a second, I, uh, you know, I forgot it was creator incarnate, but you can't dupe me anymore. You know, so now we're coming together, you know, it's, it's just, and, and again, you know, it's part of that polarity thing. Part of the balance thing is like the stronger the control tries to get, the more that you create unity, <laughs> you know, so it's kind of brilliant in its way. It's like, oh, we really have to come together because like, those guys want something that we don't want. So we're gonna create it anyway. And that is the vibration of unity consciousness, where it's like you you start saying no and creating your own thing. And eventually, you know, it's the, the focus goes to what you want instead of what you don't want, you know? And that's wisdom, knowledge, mastery applied in this reality right now. You know, it's, it's not, waiting for the system doesn't have to change that's the thing everyone's like oh I'm waiting for the whole system to collapse and everything like that it's like yeah eventually but right now right now what are we what are we going to do you know it's like i want everyone to have everything it's like well you're just like worried about all these different things like just create that create what you yes. want <laughs> yes okay so you know what that's what um you know, that's what many of us are feeling the call to do, to help people or to come up with ideas of things that just make perfect sense to us. And so the way I see it is that um, there's a really cool tool out there called Kickstarter uh, or crowdfunding, let's say, because there's a lot of different sites. And this is where people will begin supporting things that make sense, mm -hmm. like straws, um, disposable straws, like seaweed straws or rice paper straws that are gone off the planet in 60 days. Right. Those are really great things. And we're starting to see those and things that clean up the ocean. And, um, you know, I've said this before, but let's call them, let's, let's have people create home loan companies, not mortgage companies, home mm -hmm. loan companies, where it's not the 155% Right. that you pay over the life of that 30-year loan, right? right? There's more humane systems. And as we develop these more humane systems, people are going to get used to that and be aware of that. And they will no longer tolerate the older systems. Mm -hmm. So that's my take on it. Um, yes, there's comments coming in where people are like, oh, can't wait for it to get out of the 3D. But we do create from the heart with these energies and you know when we serve unity consciousness that's a big one because you know the capital world that we live in is based on competition so do you have anything to say about how you know like all of these light workers can come together in a way that feels supportive and united instead of having a a sense of you know, because there's like, think of one room, you could have 100 yoga teachers in one room, but there's ways that people can come together and do things that really assist. And I think it's the, the, the minds, the heart storming, the yeah. brainstorming, and the networking together of people that's going to get this really going and moving forward. What are your thoughts yeah. on that? Well, that's, that's part of the reason why I was guided to do this way show or empowerment thing, because it was like, you saw the, the collapse of even their old service work, you know, it's just like, how many years can you go on and on with the activations and blah, 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 over and over and over again? It's just like, even the, you know, somebody who's a seasoned way shower like myself, I'm like, oh my God, this is insane. You know, just like how, how, you know, we can't keep doing the same thing when, the realities and the activations are getting so uh, uh, up there, out there, beautiful. That's that's going to change, you know, a collective realities. 
and and just kind of you know getting rid of all of these um, belief systems about oh we're just going to like float up into heaven or something like that. It's like the intention was always to bring heaven to earth to change the realities, but we're going to learn how to create realities no matter what the density. That's the key, you know. That's key. It's like you. This is a a strong mastery school that we are in. So when you, you know, it's, it's walking away from the bullies and going, uh, I'm going to learn how to create as a sovereign being and as a fully activated force of source with my brothers and sisters, it, no matter what, the, the light tribe, the high vibe tribe, the light worker tribe, the way shower tribe, that is, has been pushed so much to the forefront of my consciousness this year because a lot of people went through a lot of clearing and everything and they were just like you know uh, <laughs> fists up kind of thing like leave me alone you know kind of thing i was like okay and uh, it, it's just consistency for for a lot of the things like unity meditations we've been doing it for two and a half years every sunday and we're like we're not going anywhere you know they're like are you gonna keep doing that it's like yeah because it works you know until it doesn't work until unifying people uh, a few times on Sunday doesn't make everyone feel wonderful and we can't share what's going on, then we'll stop, you know, but until then it will keep going. And the same thing with the way show our empowerment, it rolls into new earth now projects, coordination, you know, all, all that stuff. And it doesn't, you know, if anybody's a bored light worker, I'm like, what are you doing? You know, there's, there's, so much that you can be involved in and i know there's yeah. um we, we you know we've been through a lot this year a lot but the next phase you know 2019 energies um obviously become even stronger you know we've got a couple more gateways trigger points uh this year that are going to make you know the high vibe tribes are going to feel like super high totally multi-dimensional at the same time, you have people coming up the rung going, where do, I don't know where to put my focus. I don't know where, because they're just, you know, it, multidimensional consciousness is something that you have to get used to. You know, it's something to experience and in the body is quite extraordinary because you're like, wow, there's so much going on with my e expression. You know, it's like, where do you put your focus? You know, the, the onslaught of information can be um, very stimulating. You have to learn how to focus. You have to learn how to breathe, stay centered. You know, you've got 33 different chakras and all different dimensions and densities unifying at the same time. So it's just like, oh, wow, I'm kind of everywhere in this moment and here at the same time, you know, so you don't check out. You, you unify right through this expression here. But unity in the light tribe is is going to be huge you know that's why i'm preparing everybody now i'm like this thing is gonna you know really take off the create this the stimulation for creativity action creating things you know but we are responsible for that and you have to stop looking to the bad parents as like they're, they're going to fix it they're going to fall and something else is going to come up it's like yeah they're going to fall but we're the thing that steps up you know, and you have to learn things and learn skills. And what do you want? You got to decide now, what do you want? How do you want it to unfold? Because, you know, nobody's going to trust the new system. There's not going to be, you know, some, you know, St. Germain is not going to walk in and go, okay, I'm in charge now. That's not what it's about. You know, that's not what it's about. That's not what any of the brotherhoods or anything have ever been about. It's, you, it's unified humanity learning how to deal with each other, learning how to work together, and learning how to create the, the planetary consciousness, the reality, the realms that we would like to experience. And yeah, there's a vibrational thing where it's like whatever realm you're vibrating with, that's your experience. We're already having that. I'm having a wildly different experience than, you know, my neighbor already, you know, and that's just where your, where your heart and your vibration is but when we come together when you get the high vibe people coming together who really care who really um want to share that experience or want to create new experiences for other people or like you said new systems 
you know, different opportunities, alternatives, alternatives, alternatives. Uh, it's important and it's important to be consistent and on point and go after it with um, that consistency of wanting uh, excellence and mastery, you know, and consistently moving toward uh, what we are becoming rather than kind of weeping over what we were or how bad things were. It's like, you know what, let it go and let's move on. Just like that. Just like that. And we know that people listening and watching to this are the new earth leaders. And so we support each and every one. And I know, Sandra, you and I and so many people are getting ready to really um, support or network with this community to, to bring together ideas, to bring together people with passions and talents, to weave them together in our community. And there is no competition. Uh, that is a 3D uh, program that we have graduated from. I still feel a residue of it. And so that's what I work on. So again, this has been very comforting because we go head into it, right? That which we still kind of are hesitant about, we just go right into it, headstrong, heart strong, go into it and deal with it. So yeah. that's beautiful. We're gonna see the change as, as people feel this empowerment to do new things and create new systems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and everyone just has to, you know, for the time being, it's kind of like, put your money where your consciousness is, you know, make sure if you want, even energy exchanges or whatever, you know, make sure that you're doing that with people. If you really want uh, the scarcity programming and all that limit lack stuff to go away, um, you challenge yourself to it as well as other people, you know, it, it's, um, and, and, and a lot of the thing too, like a lot of way showers get burned out because they're, they're giving, 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 giving. And it seems like sometimes it feels like the tribe is kind of insatiable They'll just like, take, 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 give me, it has to be free. It has to be free. It has to be free. You have to give me everything because you're the one with the connection, you know, that kind of mentality, that too, finally going away, finally collapsing completion on that too, that whole dynamic of like, well, you're the one with the contacts. So you should, you know, be taken care of by higher realms. You know, it's like, wait a minute, I, I have a body, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I'm just like, wow, all that stuff is just old, dead conversation. Finally, finally walking away from that. It's like, you wanna help? You wanna co-create? You wanna co-create? That's where we are right now. And we're all taking care of each other as best we can. You know, So if you are somebody who has a lot and you're worried about not having a lot, maybe it needs to face that fear. If you're somebody who has nothing you know, I've had nothing all in a lot of this journey. And I'm just like, you know what? I, I know exactly what that feels like. It feels pretty fantastic, actually. It's very freeing, you know, but you can't create much. So that's where the unified co-creation thing comes in because we have to stop thinking of it as your platform, my platform, and start thinking of it as our, our. platform. Really challenging, really challenging for people. Yes. You know, because they still go to the linear of like, well, yeah. how does that work? You know, I don't want to ask for anything or I don't want to take anything and I don't want to give it, you know, unless I'm getting what I need back. And there's there's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of energy that needs to be evened out with that whole, that whole thing. But if we don't try, it will be, you know, big bully, bad parent. You know, because, because that's what people are comfortable with. They're comfortable with being disempowered. You know, it's like, oh, I'll just step back and go into the system and then I'm safe. And it's like, oh, great. So you're going to like work, retire, die. You know, that's great incarnation. <laughs> you know? Like, I, I don't understand that at all at this point. It's just, it makes no sense to me. People, I know a lot of people went back to sleep this year because the, the energies got so strong. They were just like, forget it, I'm out. You know, I've had it with Ascension, the whole light worker thing just bailed because the energy's got too strong, too demanding to move into unity consciousness. It really scares the heck out of people. The whole unified thing. They're like, 
I don't know, kind of like my privacy, kind of like, like my own space, kind of like my own heart. I don't want to show people, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, it scared a lot of people. A lot of people went back into the system, back to 3D kind of stuff, you know? So really? well, we lost some people, you know, which kind of it's, but at the same time, it's, it's balancing because the high vibe tribe got very high. So, you know, there's a lot going on with us. So probably have enough energy for, you know, thousands of people. So it's fine. Okay. Well, very interesting. I know that um, there's some comments coming in that people really, you know, want to move forward because I know I can see the big picture. So that's very helpful. So again, I just want to say that this is very promising for um, just new earth and the newness that's going to come around. All right. So uh, I want to, here's a question from a listener and it says, and I know Sandra that you are, um, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of out of the, 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 the mainstream, but there's so many who are ascending with people um, like um, spouses and things, personal uh, people, relationships. So um, this person says, how do you know if what you are experiencing is your personal clearing or someone else's, if there is no personal emotional attachment? When my partner is clearing, how do I know if I have responsibility in it or not? You know, if I am not feeling any triggers or emotions around it, I feel like the observer, yet I am told I am too cold and not taking responsibility for myself. So well, you don't have to take responsibility for somebody else's clearing. I mean, you don't have to do that. But, um, but, but the other thing is, you know, moving into unity consciousness and everything that was said in the first hour of this program about the, the true state of Krishna, of, of solar cosmic Christ, of seeing it all as your self, no matter what, um, especially with intimate relationships, you know, you can see, um, I just had a, a beautiful kind of reunion with my best friend who I hardly ever get to see, uh, who is also my ex. And it's, uh, and we had a beautiful day together, we took a hike and everything it was really gorgeous. And he, at the end, he was like, you know, I just feel like you're really like pursuing this going into this higher state of consciousness and everything. And I'm like, kind of lugging around doping around like down in the grounded stuff and everything and i'm like i i i see i see us as the same thing you know there's just it's just a different aspects of the same consciousness you know when you really start experiencing source you're like well this is all me there's no i mean the true experience of i am i am all of that i am my partner i'm my next door neighbor i'm the barking dog i'm the weird guy in the park i'm the ascended angel you know all of that and you're just like oh okay and yeah you do get there are definitely phases where you get into observer consciousness consciousness <laughs> and it uh you can feel a little detached maybe cold you know like oh i really should be like emotionally entangled to this person's pain or whatever i don't experience that you know which can make you feel like well, you're not, you know, an, an empath anymore kind of thing. It's like, no, I'm just not entangled in the drama because I kind of realize what's going on and it's beautiful, but I'm not like, you know, triple shielding to try to keep somebody's bad energy away from me or what. It just doesn't happen. You're just like, mm, okay, I see that. Is there some way I can help? If so, you know, if they're asking for help, okay. If not, all right, it is what it is, you know, and it's just kind of staying... Uh, neutral in that source kind of way mm -hmm. in that realization there's definitely compassion forgiveness gratitude all of that um, but but also honoring other expressions journey also honoring other people's what they're going through mm -hmm. without getting entangled trying to fix it you know all, all of that um, so there can be, you know, there are definitely times in our ascension where we feel detached or impersonal. Um, definitely with the source activations, you can, it sometimes it almost feels dissociative, which is kind of a psychology 
uh, term, but which is not a positive psychology term, I should say, but it, it, it's almost like, whoa, I just feel like I stepped out of the drama altogether, you know, and that, I mean, it, it's a, it's a beautiful experience, but it can also get the lower self to go, wait a minute, come back here, you know, kind of thing. Um, but it's, it's also, as long as it feels beautiful and not judgmental, I, I should say, it's kind of the litmus test. You don't want to feel like I am supreme guru, you know, Lord. That's a weird place mm -hmm. that I would not say that's complimentary. But if you're in, in the place where you see all of it as one unified experience and, and, and the key is to feel that overwhelming love that comes with that, like, oh my gosh, this is so Im immensely beautiful, all of it, you know, all of it is gorgeous. Um, and if you can experience that when your partner's having the nervous breakdown or, or you know, going through their own clearing or whatever, and you're like, okay, that's your clearing. You know, what, what can I do for you? You need some soup? You know, like that. <laughs> you know, what can I do to help? You know, and if they're like, well, how come you're not involved? You know, it's like, I'm kind of going to a neutral place here so that I can assist you more. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to empower somebody's, you know. <laughs> You know, I know even if people get mad at you, right? I mean, people can, that's why I call this summer explosive because people can get mad at you because of that. And so, you know, I've always, this is a joke, maybe someone out there has an idea on how to make this, but, you know, a little headband that we could wear in relationships that say, you know, if, if, if someone's starting to get triggered by something that we're saying, it could go off and like illuminate. And then you would know <laughs> that you're triggering that person and you could say, Oh, I'm glad I could help you clear that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, we're all just helping people clear. And um, hopefully we'll like kind of migrate the conversation to like the more the more kind of like like I hang out in Shasta and Sedona a lot, you know, and in those circles, well, there's always like a sense of of gratitude and and you know, thank you for helping me clear that or thank you for helping me see that rather than, oh my God, what did you just do to me? You know, kind of thing. It's like so old school to like judge what, you know, what, I, well, look at their, their energy or whatever. It's like, you know, there's definitely circles like that in Shasta and Sedona, of course. But um, it's just like, wow, if we could just come to the perspective of, and, and again, you know, again, just to like kind of touch on the way shower thing, it's about how you communicate um, all of that. But there's also that, um, uh, I'm doing some really deep shares on how to get through a lot of the abuse that comes with being a way shower, you know, because, yeah, like, you know, you know, nobody, you know, things I, that people write and say, and you're like, oh, wow. I would like, say that is why I'm staying neutral. Well, I would say that's the number one reason why people don't step out and go forward. It could be a past life issue, um, but it's being even persecuted when they spoke their truth in the last time uh, or another life. Yeah. So. You can't blame your past life for what's going on now. You okay. can't. I know. New Fair age belief enough. system. You are the sum of your past lives. It's like, and maybe not. <laughs> maybe not anymore. Yes. Now we're, we're closing all those Akashic records, all that karma, all that stuff is going, 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 so we can become something new. You know? Yes. And so we just focus on, on the sun and the sun that we are and those aspects of us. So beautiful. Sandra Walter, this conversation mm -hmm. today, I know hearts are uplifted and we feel fortified from this. So as we wrap up today, I just want to give you a, men, uh, a moment. I know there was a whole list of things that we wanted to discuss and I just want to make sure we got to everything. Did we get to everything? Because my goodness, I'm actually interested in knowing about the activation with the masters that you had. Mm, yeah, well, that came in during the eclipse too, you know, and that, that's, that again, there's, so, so I had this thing happen with Serapis Bay, you know, it's this is like casual conversation. So Serapis Bay came in. Um, and this is, again, an aspect of us, you know, we have to stop even thinking of the masters as like, Mm -hmm. the grandest thing that I could ever attain, you know, okay. it's um, because they are, they, they do get quite casual, playful, they're neutral, 
that state of mastery, I so want to go to the upstairs uh, mastery schools because there's just, there's always more to learn. There's always more to learn, you know, but, um, but yeah, there was um, uh, an activation where, you know, Sarapa's Bay just kind of leans in at the end of one of the unity meditations and he, he's got the, the kind of white um, headscarf on, you know, and he kind of pulls it aside so he can lean in and um, corrected uh, something or aligned something that was going on with my pineal gland, um, which started all the DMT trips and the seeing the crystalline bridge and all this, all this other stuff. Um, but that, that relationship uh, with, with the masters or the galactics or archangelic realms or angelic realms or whatever, that too is going through a, a metamorphosis or our comprehension of it is going through a metamorphosis too, where you're not going to see the separation. It's like, are you an angel or are you a master? Old story. So many old stories right now. You know, we're, we're going to have to rewrite everything, which is what we're doing. But there's, there's so many old stories of like, are you from the Pleiades? Or are you from, you know, are you from Vega? Because you got this Lyran lightship thing. And I thought you were a Pleiadian. It's like, yes, I am all of it all of it you know it's like oh my aspect my this aspect and your multi-dimensional self you have you know you just in this planetary realm itself your oversoul has like 300 to 500 thousand representations of you you know most of the time you're just interacting with yourself <laughs> you know that's, that's like that's the mind. unity that's Good. unity consciousness right there yeah. when you really truly get that when you get it yeah when you get it you're like oh because then the weight of all the density gets lifted you don't take it as so seriously you don't take it as like this this you know this this kind of battle thing that's been going on for so long the battle in itself was illusion it was just source you know duking it out and everything and we're still experiencing that. A lot of the collective is still experiencing that. And it's valid. It's valid. I'm not saying it doesn't exist anymore. You're all fools. I'm not saying that at all. All experiences have some element of validity to them because there's an entity somewhere creating that, right? You know, it's all part of source. But the unity consciousness that we're attempting as light workers, way showers, gatekeepers, grid workers, all of us, blah, blah, whatever your title, um, you know, whatever your you want your title to be in this moment, is all an expression of this, this movement into this positive, pure photonic light, which is a living consciousness. It's the living consciousness of God coming back into these realms, coming back into us, if you want to call it us. Again, you know, poetry is probably a much better way to express this, but we do our best, right? We persist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels so inspiring, so hopeful. And so we keep our hearts wide open, allowing the higher self to come in and actually truly uh, experiencing this frequency that's here, this feeling that's here. It's right here. We just reach for it. And I'm so glad that it's more consistent. You're reporting more consistency uh, mm -hmm. as a way shower, as a leader, as ascension way shower. That's really good, positive news. And we're so elated. I know all of us are. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra Walter. This has been exquisite. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for everyone who's being, um, you know, one of, one of the quotes that I threw on my Instagram just yesterday, patience equals generosity. Understand that you uh, having, having patience for, for everyone that's around you, having patience for yourself is being generous during this time. You know, your impatience doesn't serve anyone. The whole waiting game, when's it gonna happen or whatever. You are creating, we are creating these new realities, these higher realities. We're moving into different realms of consciousness. So yes, have, have patience is just that, that neutrality, but it's also a generosity of spirit. You know, once you start feeling the source as self, 
you'll realize just how generous this entire experience is, you know, let alone having patience with your brothers and sisters and what's going on with you, with yourself. So mm-hmm. that's the share. Yeah. And <laughs> as we do that, uh, we will surrender to these issues and these triggers that we think we need to be responsible for. We'll just let it go. And uh, it's not a cop out, but it's really the shift. So it's beautiful. Sandra Walter, I want to thank you so much for being here. This has been a beautiful quantum conversation. Oh, thank you so much, Loren. Blessings, everyone. Love you Blessings. So much. Blessings, beloved, and thank you for watching this video. There are three ways that we can stay connected. The first is you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. The second is you can go to my website at sandrawalter.com and sign up for the free weekly newsletter. That's where all those cosmic light intel and energy updates and the free tools and the classes and the events and the Sunday Unity meditation reminders are all sent to you directly, or you can go to my website and enjoy all the free tools and the articles that are there already. Decades worth of material on the Ascension already provided free to you. Also, there are Sunday Unity Meditations that we've been doing for about two and a half years now. Please join us. And if you want to follow us on social media, you can check out the notes section for all the links to where you can find me for daily inspiration on the Ascension process. Let us unify and show humanity what is possible with ascension.